From the Carl Chevrolet Studios in West Des Moines, this is Iowa Live. Welcome back to the program, everyone. Of course, it is way cold on the outside, and we keep telling you there's a place you can go to year-round that will really get you in an incredible mood, and that place is our very own Blank Park Zoo. And Dana Lane is joining us right now. She's the aquatic supervisor at the Blank Park Zoo. Dana, how are you today? Staying warm? Oh, yeah. It's nice to see you. I'm doing great. <laughs> great to see you as well. Now, if you walk in to the Blank Park Zoo, the main entrance, and you go through the Discovery Center, you are going to come across the area where Dana is right now. And this is your domain, isn't it? Yes, this is where I like to spend most of my time. It stays about a 75 to 80 degrees, which is perfect this time of year. Yeah, and uh, we're really excited because you have some uh, interesting critters behind you. And contrary to what some Iowa Hawkeye fans might believe, Terrapins are not from Maryland, are they? Well, actually, they are from Maryland. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? Well, these are turtles. <laughs> yeah, the turtles is what we are talking about. Tell us about the Terrapins yeah. that you have there. Yes, yeah, so we have nine uh, Diamondback Terrapins. Um, these guys, like you mentioned, are from Maryland, but they're of the aquatic variation. Um, so these guys actually are really, really cool. So a lot of people ask me, what's the difference between a terrapin and a turtle? So these guys are actually freshwater turtles that can live in brackish water. So that's mix of salt and freshwater. All right, and uh, you ha looks like you have uh, many of these, several of them in, in the uh, enclosure there in that tank. Uh, how many do you have? Uh, we have nine total, a mix of male and females. It's really cool. You can definitely tell them apart. The females are going to be much larger, about 11 inches, whereas the males are going to be much smaller. Really? And uh, uh, what, their diets, uh, uh, are they, is it consistent with normal, uh, like, like turtle-type diets? Yes. Yeah, so these guys generally in the wild uh, feed on crustaceans, so snails, shrimp, crabs, things like that. They'll also uh, take a bite out of a fish now and then. Um, sometimes we'll feed them worms here or crickets for enrichment. So yeah, they, they're kind of bottomless pits. They'll eat just about anything. And uh, people do understand that animals like this uh, have a tendency to, to live a decent amount of time. Do we know what the lifespan is on a terrapin? Yes, so this particular species can live anywhere from 25 to 40 years. So that is a long time for an animal. I'm sorry. Uh, yes, that, it is. <laughs> that really is amazing. But uh, it looks like uh, they, they have some uh, webbed appendages there, obviously, to help them get around. Do they go on land very much at all, or do they spend uh, most of their time primarily in the water? So these guys are considered semi-aquatic, but they spend generally most of their time in the water. Um, they can even nap underwater, take breaks and things like that. Um, occasionally, however, they will get out of the water. One of the main reasons is for the females to actually lay their eggs, of course. And then also they'll utilize um, the sun to bask, which is really great for their shell health. Um, so that'll help kind of keep their shell nice and, nice and healthy if they can dry out every once in a while. But again, they spend most of their time in the water. How about that? Now, do they have any uh, natural predators? Yes, uh, raccoons will actually dig up uh, their nests as well as uh, people's pets. So cats and dogs, of course, are known to dig in those nests. Um, and then of course, uh, their biggest predator is actually humans. Um, they have quite a bit of habitat loss, which is one of the reasons why they're considered vulnerable. Wow, but uh, you have them there. Uh, you Folks, you can go down there and check them out and all the other uh, aquatic activity uh, that is underneath the Dis Discovery Center over at the Blank Park Zoo. It is really a neat place, and I I'm, I'm glad you corrected me. I was trying to make a joke about Terrapins being from Maryland, not just basketball and football teams, but that's where they are from. That is really cool. See, everybody learned something here today, didn't we? Yep, they can be found from Maryland all the way down to Texas along the East Coast. Oh, that is really neat. Well, thank you so much for that information. And if people want to find out more about things that are going on year round at the Blank Park Zoo, I believe kid activities are happening this weekend at the zoo. Uh, where can they get that information? Um, all that information can be found on Blank Park Zoo's uh, website, blankparkzoo.com. All right, or Dana, that is really cool. Thank you so much. We really appreciate your time, and thank you for all the information about the Terrapins. 
Oh, of course. Um, you're you're absolutely welcome. <laughs> All right. All right, everybody. Uh, here's what we are celebrating today. It's Spouses Day. Do something nice for your spouse today. Library Shelfie Day. That means take a picture in front of a whole stack of books, okay, and then post it on social media. A tote hollow day of encouragement. Encourage somebody to do something really cool. Green juice and National Peanut Brittle uh, Day is today as well.